Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for May 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th, Monday through Thursday. Now this is a general reading, and you know I'm going to be using my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power and my message, whatever the message is that comes out, you know, best if I don't even try to understand it. So I'm going to also, um, and you'll, you'll notice that I speak about, you know, higher power, higher power, guardian angel, your spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, um, the source, whoever that is to you, that's who, you know, basically to reach out to. Now, we do have a lot of archangels that do visit us and, you know, love to see them and love to feel their energies. I do invite Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Raphael to join us during these readings. Besides, of course, my praying, meditating, and infusing the cards. Now, please remember, yeah, this is the good time. Please remember the button down there to like, share, subscribe, because it does help. And I really want to thank you so much. Now, last readings, I did um, a long intro, and this will probably be one too. I do put on the bottom, you know, in the description where the actual reading begins. So I want you to always know that. So, you know, if you, if you cross watch, you don't have to go through all of this again. Now, um, okay, so I'm going to pull some cards out just here, just for the overview of, you know, of the week per se. And let's see what we have. So right now we have a three of pentacles coming up. Anything that's reversed is, you know, has a little stronger energy. So let's see what we have going on for the overview. So right now we know something about money. Now, money is, you know, basically money is a very earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, earth energies. And, you know, it has to do with, you know, very tangible energy. Now, we do have the new moon on the 11th. I talked about that. So there is a, a new tangible type of energy coming that will be, like I said, on the 11th. I think it is 2.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you may want to, um, you know, really get out your intentions, okay? Really get out those things that you're looking for. Now, you can see that I have the new moon and then it goes to the full moon. New moon to full moon basically is the time to request. So let's see what the other cards are here. We're going to do three. And again, this is going to be an overview for the week. Let's see what we have here now. Okay, so again, the three, threes have a lot of energy to it. It's a lot of power. Celestial energy, it's also the power of three. You know, when you do something three times, say something three times, it, you know, it's supposed to have more energy, more force to it. Um, you know, it's also the trinity. Now, so here we have the three, and we have, basically, you can look at this. Somebody's coming for supplication. Somebody's coming for some, you know, for some help for whatever they need. Now, the three of pentacles is saying things will be provided. Things will happen. Maybe not the way you want it to happen. And again, I'm an intuitive channeler, so sometimes, you know, what, what it actually says here and what I'm picking up does not necessarily have to um, correlate, but... The neat thing is that so many of you tend to know exactly what the card is meaning for you also. But I'm feeling like there's going to be supplication. I feel like, you know, basically going and asking. But I feel like needs will be met, okay? Needs will be met. Maybe not all the things we want, but the needs will be met. Okay, so let's go on to our next card. Okay, so now we have, this is again reversed. We have the star. Now, the star, so we have a 17 here, and so then we have the 10. 10 is our transitional energy. Um, also, you can look at it as a 1 and a 0, 1 new beginning, 0 God, universal, the source energy. Then we have that 7. 7 is a divine number. Um, it is a perfect number. I look at it as the divine umbrella, that thing that no matter how, much, how many times we mess up, you know, there's a there's somebody, there's something, a higher power, the source is watching out for us, sending angels or whoever that is. But the star is is 
is a very, it, you know, I'm feeling like there is a balance with the star. You know, there's a balance of, you know, there's a balance between this world and the next. And, you know, between the supernatural and the natural, however you want to say that. But the star is also about putting out your intentions, making your wishes. Um, you know, you notice I put a little Y there. Generally speaking, whenever, you know, I'm kind of looking for a yes, no question, just a real easy answer. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll shuffle some of the um, major arcanas. And then, you know, the Y's, obviously yes and no. Then you sometimes will see an N slash Y, meaning maybe. But the star, and again, that really correlates with this new moon. Put your intentions out there. And remember, this new moon is in Taurus. And with Taurus, it's going to be very tangible type of energy. And again, you, you know, supplication, needs being met, wishes coming, you know, wishes happening, wishes coming true, okay? So let's see what this last card is. Okay, this is the nine of rods or wands. This is your, you know, while this is the earth energy, this is your fire energy. This is your Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Passionate, burning, very determined energy. So, you know, this is, you know, nines have kind of a completion. Nine, you know, kind of like, you know, we wrapped up the gift, put a bow on it, now it's time to deliver. Deliver in the promises. Deliver in what needs to be delivered. You know, so again, have very positive thoughts, positive words. Believe that things can happen. Hope is something that is extremely, extremely powerful. You know, prayer, meditation, supplication, reaching out. Very, very positive. Okay, very powerful energy too. The nine of rods, wands is sometimes what it's called, you know, and you know, we can also look at these as earth signs, fire signs, um, you know, fire energies. This is basically stay strong. Don't give up. Things are happening. Things are happening. And you, you know, it reminds me of, and I've told you the story, many of you the story about the miner who, you know, was working on a mine for like 9, 10, 20 years, however long it was, gave up, sold the mine, and whoever t picked up the mine found out that that miner was like 19, 21 inches away from a great silver strike, okay? So the thing is, if this is something that you truly, truly feel is your destiny is where you need to be, where you need to go, continue. Believe me, believe me, and I know this, darkness doesn't like the light. I know we need to have that balance because we need to know our own darknesses and we need to know our own lights. But there is a bigger darkness out there, and it will try to keep you from achieving what it is your higher power wants you to achieve. It tries. And it's not always easy to fight against that. It's not always. Like I said, I ask for very powerful archangels to join me while we do this. So just, just be aware. And also, too, the darkness will attack wherever you are the most vulnerable. Okay? Okay. Now, remember, too, on the 13th, Jupiter, the planet of fortune, of largesse, is going into Pisces. They love each other. They really have a very strong and wonderful relationship. It will be in um, Pisces until July 28th. In fact, it's, it's going direct, and then it'll go retrograde, but it'll stay in Pisces. So really, these are things, you know, again, we're so close you know, we're so close to this, don't give up, okay? I think that's the message for the week is don't give up, okay? Now, let's begin our readings. Hello, my Pisces, how are you? Well, let's see what we have for my Pisces, what we have going on. My Pisces, you've got to believe. You have to believe things you have to believe, and that's the thing, and I've told you this, I tell you this all the time, believe that things can happen, and no buts, no codicils, no, um, okay, but, you know, you believe, just believe, keep putting it out there. Okay, here we are. Let's see what we have for my Pisces for this week. One, two, and three. 
Okay, reverse card, strong energy. First card for my Pisces. Again, believe, believe. First card is the King of Ariel. Now, King's underlying energy is air energy. It's, you know, the King of Swords, the wisest of the wise. Okay, the King has the King of Swords is supposedly the oldest of the tarot cards, the to the tarot energy. The wisest of the wise has gone through everything you can think about and can really think things through. At the same time, the King of Swords can also do a lot of projections. I'm feeling like projections, okay? Now, we take the King of Swords, that energy, we bring it to the King of Ariel. Now, Ariel is Earth energy. That is our Taurus. We've got a new moon in Taurus, so this is really one of those things. You need to put it out there. It's also Virgo and Capricorn, something, someone you can touch. It's very tangible. A lot of this has to do with how you make your money, how you make, you know, so this is a thing for you. You have an expertise that you have been underusing. You have not been using it to the right, to the right level of your expertise. I, I know, I've gone down that road. So, you, you know, kind of like you have this gifting, you have, and I don't know, you know, that, that you can actually make money off of, and you've just been kind of, I don't know, have you been lazy? Have you been afraid? Have you been... You know, have you just been not feeling like I can do this? It's I kind of feel like you're going to be stretched to a new limit, okay? I'm feeling kind of an ascension energy for you, but it is in your work energy. It is in your tangible energy. So there's things, you know, there's things that you can kind of, I'm kind of getting that rep, that Rapunzel energy, the, um, not Rapunzel, I'm sorry. What's, the, what, that's the one that was out, the, the, um, what was the, the one that could make gold, you know, the spin gold, okay? Rumpelstiltskin, Rumpelstiltskin energy. There is so much more that you can do, and I don't know, and you know what? Maybe you're just enjoying your life, and you're just kind of saying, I know I can do this, it's just that I like my life is fine, and I'm okay where I'm at. Well, I feel like something's about to, to I don't know, should I say, should we say snap? It's not like it's snapping like a rubber band, but like, like, aha, eureka type of moment. And I feel like you're going to be called to up your game, especially in your profession. Okay? Tell me what this is all about. Um, my Pisces. Anyway, the king of Ariel is successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. Next card. The Page of Raphael. Now, Raphael is your energy. It's Cancer and Scorpio. It's fluid, emotional. It's very spiritual, too. Page's underlying energy is Earth energy. A lot of times this has to do with a new job or a new promotion, but the Raphael, the water energy on top of that, makes it more committed, makes it a little bit more... Um, it, well, there's a commitment to it, but there's also a little bit of a sense of, of not... How do we want to say this? It's a sense of committing but not committing. It's a sense of being like hopeful. It's like, I really want to do this, but should I do this? Can I do this? The pages are very optimistic. They believe that many things can happen. That is you. Your energy believes many things can happen. Then you always throw in that butt. So throw the butt out, okay? Now, the page of Raphael is also possibly about new relationships, new romantic relationships, or a relationship that you really want to develop. And remember, for me, relationships are about your work, your job, or your career. Could be personal, intimate, interpersonal, or family, or home. Anyway, okay, the page is gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted, very, very Piscean, very Piscean. A new emotional situation Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights. Your next card here, the lovers. So we have a king page and we have a, the lovers. We have a six. Six is the number of man. It's what you create, what you put your energies into. This is Archangel Raphael. Now, the lovers could be, again, about that romantic relationship. Again, about, you know, but again, this king of earth is kind of saying... You know, and, and maybe that's your, maybe that's your thing. You're thinking that if, you know, maybe you're thinking that you can't do both. 
that if you put your mind into your business or into this, you know, this leveling up type of energy, that there might be some type of a, you know, I, I can't do it all. I can, and, you know, I totally understand that, my Pisces. You know, we were we were raised, and you know, my generation raised other generations to think that we could do it all. We have to do what makes us happy, and when I say makes us happy, you know, that sounds, you know, we have to do what makes us feel um, real, makes us feel like we are doing what we're supposed to, like we're, you know, we're, we're, we're doing what our path is telling us to do, okay? So the lovers is kind of like, there, there could be kind of an imbalance with this. The lovers, it's like, well, if I go into this, this is going to suffer. If I go into this, this is going to suffer. I can tell you, though, my Pisces, you're going to come to a conclusion, possibly this week, that, you know, that you're still being called into one of these relationships to bring it to, like I said, I feel a lot of ascension type of energy, but I still feel like you're being underutilized. You're being underutilized in your, in your natural giftings, okay? But the lovers is also about, um, you know, there is also about making some choices here, and it'll say that. Uh, but and it's also with Raphael's healing, uh, Raphael's energy is about healing this too. So there could be some healing, you know, maybe you need to have a really good discussion with that personal, that person of, you know, that intimate relationship or with your work relationship. You know, maybe you're putting, you know, maybe you need to kind of say, put, set some more boundaries. But I really feel like you are being underutilized or you are, being on yeah you are being underutilized in your profession or in that um that way that you make money okay okay anyway the lovers archangel raphael make choices from your heart deeply emotional commitments the power of love so you know you you've got kind of you've got a really strong emotional um emotional energy here and it might be that because of the power of love because of the emotions maybe you're kind of like okay I need to take care of my family I need to do and that might be your motivating factor I don't know there again I kind of feel like you're being underutilized or you yourself are underutilizing some of your gifts a lot you know your giftings okay now it could be you know that because that king of Ariel is about you know there's a lot of financial success with that um, it could also be that you're going to come to a balance between all of those. So maybe things have been, you know things have been out of balance, and this could be the week that all goes back into a balance. Okay, that that's really strong. That hit me too. That's very strong. Okay, so now yeah, definitely you're coming back into a balance. So here we have another six. So we have two sixes here. These two cards flipped. This one is reversed. So now we have seven of air. Air energy is our Aquarius, our Libra, our, our Gemini. It is thought processes making plans. Seven is a divine number. Seven has that divine umbrella. It's kind of like no matter what we do to mess up, there's something, you know, higher power is kind of keeping us on track. So seven of air, though, is kind of like, okay, maybe we have to look at things a little differently. Maybe we have to shift our plans a little bit. Maybe, you know, yes, my, my Pisces, you can't do it all. And if you have a partner, your partner needs to help you. Or your partner can't do it all. Maybe you need to help. But a lot of this, you know, a lot of this is creating and coming back and bringing, should I say coming back? I don't know, because I think it's a new balance. It's a new balance. It's not like it was. It's going to be something new. But, because that's, that's what the Six of Earth is bringing me. Plans that need revision, more going on that meets the eye, poor timing. And then we come to the six of earth, six again, number of man, the energy you put into it. Earth again, aerial energy. And this is all about gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debt. I feel like this week is creating a balance. This week is about, and it could be a brand new balance. Because there's been a lot of shifting, a lot of changing, and there it. So you know you have to revise your plans. You have to think things through. You have to have some good communication. Mercury, Mercury, yeah, Mercury and Venus are in Gemini right now. So there's a lot of intellectual energy there. So you're going to have to talk things through a little bit more 
in order to recreate in order to create the balance. Now, when I say recreate, um, you know, maybe you know there it, it's a it's a brand new balance. It's a brand new balance. It's kind of like maybe I was able to do this in the past. I can't do this now. Okay, but it feels very positive. Like you can have that conversation. You can you know regain that balance. Regain a balance. Okay, not that balance. If you understand what I'm saying. That balance is gone. That balance is so gone, my Pisces, but you can regain a new balance, okay? So let's see what crystal or energy was helpful for my Pisces for this week. This one is reversed. Blue lace agate. Agate. Kindness, good communication, peaceful outcome, love and marriage. So there seems like there might, like, you know, the lovers, Raphael, healing. So maybe in an intimate relationship, things have been kind of off-centered. Things kind of come back into a balance, new balance. Okay, so <laughs> my Pisces, I know, I know. You're going to have that conversation and it'll work. It works. Anyway, my Pisces, remember the button. Please like, share, subscribe. It really helps. More importantly, my Pisces, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.